Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides, this their final group stage test. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And a look at the starting lineup for Senegal. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Sheku Kuyate in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And this confrontation is underway. Castillo. Torres. It's with Castillo. Moving into the advanced position. Giving it a try. The save was a good one. And there's the delivery. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And there's Valencia. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, the supporters think it's on. Surely! And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Playing it in. In Capier. Moises Caicedo. Just the challenge that was required. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, in any game, Sadio Mane is likely to be an important contributor. Stewart, what kind of display do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets one... Oh, wait he... a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking.
Who can they pick out? Piero in Capier. Really getting stuck in. And the counter attack is on. Options available. But they dealt with the threat posed. And space to attack. He has time to play it over. Can he take advantage? And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. But how has he allowed that much time and space? doesn't even have to jump to head it in it's a good finish but terrible defending Stop them in their tracks. And can they exploit the space out wide? Delivered into the area here. Oh, off the frame! Well, he's connected well enough with it. He just couldn't get it the right side of the post. Oh, they've lost it. Boule Dia. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Good looking cross. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Nicely cut out. And racing away here. A delivery towards the back post. And off target by Miles with that one. And a goal kick will ensue. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. So two minutes to be added on at the end. This is looking threatening. Wonderful chance! Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Sadio Mane, usually an important part of the story, but is it happening for him? Well, it's not just him, to be fair. I think the whole team haven't been at their best. It's going to take a spark, though, to turn this around, and hopefully he can be the one to provide that.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Gonzalo Plata. Caicedo. Preciado. It needs an accurate cross. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? See what they can do here. Giving it a try. Well, tremendous block. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. it comes relatively straightforward to mop up defensively gay now oh, keeper in control <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate Struggling to get it away. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Getting forward. In position. Oh, did so well to deny him. He's driven in the corner. And the problem not completely solved. And he stopped them in their tracks. Poule Dia. And they've given him too much space. Is it going to be? And the challenge crisp and clean. Mendy well not long to go and given that they're winning they know full well they have their ticket in hand for the knockout stages well they've played well today haven't they it's been a tough group but they've certainly delivered when it mattered most well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack and a timely intervention now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now unable to keep the ball opportunity it is and a goal they lead by two now and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. So, 2-0 now. Oh, 
over the touchline for a throw in both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time Angel Mena and it comes down to the final five minutes and with that the attack fizzles out Mane, and in with a real chance. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Potential danger here. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there goes the final whistle. A big three points for them here, and their place in the round of 16 is guaranteed. And I have to say, Derek, they deserve their win. I thought they were excellent today, and they can now go into that last 16 game full of confidence. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.